The Dodgers yeah, stick right. this year, too. The Braves stuff, are the man. best team in the National League. Right. LeBron and AD and John Morant and the whole gang. Man, I love these white Get, uniforms, getting man. ready to. The Lakers? I love the Lakers' white uniforms. Yeah. Play game one at FedEx Forum. LeBron. Hey, stop the ball. Oh, my God. Hey, I play defense like that. Yeah, he's a runaway. Lakers would lead by 10 early. Oh, Jaron Jackson Jr. Memphis down five after one. LeBron. Stop the ball. Oh, you're, getting, you're getting a little uh, ticked off here, aren't you? You can't oh. come on. Stop it. Yeah. Ja ahead of the pack. 38-27. They outscored the Lakers in the second quarter. Desmond Bain. Matched his jersey number with 22. Well, this man right here, Gil Goodreads. Oh, oh, Anthony Davis grabbing at that shoulder after this play. Couldn't move his arm, Ernie. That's right. And he headed to the locker room for the remainder of the first half. You know what they put on him, Ernie? Well, uh, let me guess. Some of that icy hot. I can't man, move oh. my arm. There it is. Icy hot. AD. So you wondered what what his status for the rest of the game would be. Oh, it turns out he he came back out for the second half. Uh, he could move his arm when he came out. Yes, he could. Okay, just check. It must have been just a flesh wound. 65-59, Memphis at the break. Uh, AD, uh, yeah, it looks okay uh, now, uh, doesn't it? Moving his arm. Yeah. I don't know why he, and did, then he got two arms. Yeah, AD arms. with the steal. And Dennis Come on, man. Right hey, what a pass oh. to AD. It's all working now. Sure is. LA outscored Memphis 37-25 in the third quarter. I know your name, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. Name, Rudy. Hey, I know your name, Rudy. 21 of his 29 yeah, coming in the here. second half. Told you, man. Get a Lakers huge. credit. Give Rob a Lakers credit. Going out against. I, I don't know how the hell these Lakers got all these players. It's crazy how many players they got at the trade deadline. AD drawing the charge from Morant, and you saw he's got the hand wrapped. He had a late in the season, oh, an injury to the right hand. Guys, you can't try to catch yourself. You can't try to brace yourself. X-rays were negative. You got it. You can't fall on. Don't try to catch yourself, guys. LeBron for three. What did he fall on him? Your, your body. Okay, just check. Oh, you Jaron Jackson the launching from deep. Memphis down one with 3-10 to play, and then the Lakers Ooh. scored the next 15 points. Hey, I in told the you. Game. Hey, I this guy was like, this, ain't, this ain't my line. This is Mark Jackson line. He said Austin Powers. He was killing him. Austin Reeves, first play. I'm him. Game. I'm yeah. him. <laughs> in his first playoff game, he comes up with 23. Lakers had four guys with at least 20. Come 128 on, to 112. They take the home court advantage away from the Grizzlies, shooting 53% in the process. 22 to 10 second chance points. They won the boards 45 34, 10 offensive. Uh, how about some post game yakety yak? Yakety yak. I knew the type of player that we was able to get. It's not surprising what he's doing tonight. Maybe to some of you guys who don't watch him as much or don't cover him as much, but for me, it's not. I'm extremely happy for him, and, and you know, I want him to do it again. Obviously, when you got you know guys like Bron and AD, uh, it makes life a little easier. You dream about being you know on a stage like this. You know, uh, just you know the best basketball players in the world. Uh, it's the playoffs, and you know uh, I got hot late, and you know have fun. Tough man. Especially, you know, with everything uh, I've been through um, pretty much, you know, this season. Um, you know, my main focus was to, you know, be out there for my guys. Another, you know, um, incident where, you know, that's pretty much in, you know, jeopardy. So, honestly, man, I don't know. At this point, not even surprised with, you know, how my life been going. I'm just, you know, pretty much numb to everything now. It's one thing after another. 128, 112, your final score. Uh, one thing you see and is really magnified in playoff basketball is when you get a contribution from somebody that, wow, that, was, that wasn't something that you really look for. Look at Trey Lyles for Sacramento like, yes. in game one against Golden State. And then you see Austin Reeves with 23, Rui with 29. Yeah. I mean, Ernie, this is why I've always, I've always been so high on the others. You know, LeBron got a pretty good game, 20, but... You know, superstars in the atmospheres like that, they got to be in the 30s, maybe even the 40s. But 
when the others play well, it just makes your run easier and, and the others play well. I don't expect them to play like that every game, but they stole a whole court advantage. If he can give me two games like that at home as a superstar, me and Chuck or AD and LeBron, they should be able to handle the rest. But they, the others, won that game for me tonight. So, you know, you got to repay them back. Hachimura outscoring the Memphis bench it, it, by it, himself, you know, 29 to 24. You know, we, we talked about it earlier, you know, they had a G League team a couple – well, one year they had a bunch of guys who were just past their prime, and then, then they had a G League bench. I have no idea how they got Rui, Vanderbilt, Beasley, D'Angelo. I mean, they got, like, real NBA players. Just revamped the whole team. I mean, right like, there. Ernie, they bench is really – Reeves has been playing fantastic the whole time. But what Rob Polinka did during this trade deadline – Man, it made them like legit contenders because they were trashed the last couple of years on the bench. And now, all of a sudden, you're like, man, they got like legitimate players. Yeah, you know, obviously, I get to see the Lakers a lot. Um, also, Reeves has had a lot of games like this, but never on a stage. So you're like, yeah, it's a regular season. Can he do that? You know, in his first playoff no, first, game. You, honestly, the first time I saw him do it, I was like, yeah, that was against them. Let me see him go against a, an elite team. Then he did it against an elite team. Oh, they were like, and you do it again in the playoffs. And so he's continually proving that, he, that is, that's who he is. Uh, but I think uh, Achimura, his game, 29 points, was probably even bigger because now it took so much pressure off of the interior play. And, uh, and then also Reeves allows LeBron not to be the primary ball handler. You know, you got you had Shooter out there, you had Reeves, and LeBron was spotting up. I had I don't think yeah, I've ever seen a point that guard in, in college. Career. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, 58 percent shooting over the last 11 games as a starter for Austin Reeves. But and the Lakers, but, by the way, have won 24 straight series when they win Game One. Yeah, but you know, you you have to understand, like nobody picked Memphis to win this series. You cannot overcome the Stephen Adams Clark injuries. Uh, that I was, picked him. I picked him to win it in seven. Uh, you, the, the Grizz. Yeah. Even without those two guys. Yes. Oh, Ernie, that was a bad call. They're not – listen, Ernie, Brandon Clark – I think we've only played one game in the series. Hey, I'll give you – I'll bet you anything <laughs> in the world. I said – you a said – hey, You much? want to go another big? <laughs> another billion? <laughs> yes. Yeah, why not? It's, no, all, no, no, it's all funny no, money. I, I, I tell people, <laughs> Stephen Adams – and Clark to me is terrific. He's just a – he is an energizer bunny. He's like a bigger Russell Westbrook. He gets every loose ball, every off. He has the same impact as Reeves has for the Lakers. Yes, uh, he but does. better. And he's a better player. Yeah. But Stephen Adams, to me, is the guy. And because uh, you need him against AD. Because, and uh, man, they just got no chance without those two guys. Yep. Hey, let's move on, shall we?